so we just got back from dinner and we changed into our matching Costabella pajamas. Nai has her all hers on. And we had dinner at the La Sponda restaurant, which is part of the La Sirenews Hotel. And they gave us, um, I think, three different things that were just complimentary from the chef. Uh, the last one, I haven't looked at it. My grandma looked at it. It's these little pastries that come in these little boxes. So what is it? I don't know. I don't know, but it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. And then I think I already said that earlier, but these I had contacted the hotel ahead of time uh, to ensure that there was a floor arrangement delivered to the room for her for Mother's Day. Um, and she's obsessed with the vase, so she keeps trying to figure out ways to get it home, thinking that it's going to fit into her suitcase. That's her suitcase. Eliminate half my clothes. She's thinking of leaving half of her clothes for a vase. I think it's a little absurd. I um, the vase. I don't love my clothes. Yeah, I think it's a little silly, but she really likes that vase, so we'll have to find some way to bring that home. Um, and then I also went to the, I don't remember what it was called actually, let me plug my phone. Um, this store, it's across the street, I think it's like owned by the Siren News, or they either like collab, no, I think it's owned by them, it's called Imperial Siren News. Um, and I got my mom a candle. And then I got myself this hat that says the Siren News on the back and it's pink and like a light turquoise, which are my favorite colors right now. Um, so these are the flowers, so cute.
just arrived at our last hotel in Positano. Um, it's called Villa Bohem, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so here is the terrace to our room. This balcony is for one of the bedrooms. I think we're just gonna share that bedroom to sleep. And then here's the exterior of our room. So this one is Sweet Luna. I think they have three suites total. There's nine. <laughs> A little seating area. This one's very cute. Also a lot more spacious. I'm gonna switch the camera lens so you guys can see better, okay. It's like a little bar area to eat. It has this little kitchenette area. I love this wall and all of the faces. I think that whoever designed this did a great job. Oh, and they have little umbrellas as well. I like how the room- oh look, now it has those diffusers from that one brand we like. I know, I saw it. Yeah. Okay. And here's one of the bedrooms. I think we're just going to share this one. This one's a double bed. We've been sharing a bed um, the whole trip so far. So, this is just like a little area they had towels and blankets and stuff like that and I think the safe's in here as well yeah and then in this one this little armoire it's where you can hang clothes and they have the robes and then these flip-flops um when I made the reservation because my grandma didn't reserve anything I did all of the booking um I think they thought I was coming here with a guy, so I think that's why they had a male and a female to tell them that we want two females, because I think these ones are larger, but they had like on my card Monique and her partner or something. So I think they thought I was coming here with a male, but it's just my grandma. So, and then here's this balcony. Oh, I just realized the bathroom kind of has like a Versace vibe going on with these. That's pretty. I've noticed that all of the hotels, um, they have the hotel name on all of their towels or at the least their hotel like emblem or logo, um, which is something you don't really see in the U.S. Typically, it's just plain white towels in the U.S. Um, and then these, I'm assuming, are face towels. Um, they have Hermes toiletries. I always pay attention to the toiletries that hotels or villas, whatever it is, offer. Um, so here's the bathroom. They have these in all hotels in Italy that we've stayed in in Pastano at least thus far. We have not used them and we don't plan to, but they do have those if that's something up your alley. Um, and then here's this room. So if you were someone had kids or something, this would be great. Sorry, my grandma's asthma, she keeps coughing. However, um, we, I sleep like crazy, so I would not fit in this bed. Um, so we're just going to share one. They have this large mirror here, but I think for anyone that has children, this would be nice. So that way, like you and your husband or whoever could stay in the other room and then kids in this room. 
I will say this one definitely has a nicer closet size. Um, in the other room, however, this room does not have a balcony. Um, and it does have the twin beds. I'm sure they could be moved together. I know some hotels do that for people that prefer doubles, but I think I'm just gonna share that room with my grandma. And that is all. This is how we have now made use of this room for our luggage, which was a mission because our luggage is very packed and I still have to get my shopping bags packed. So we did arrange for a duffel bag to be brought to the room um, since we clearly need the space. Um, so I still have a lot of stuff I need to fit in here. So. <laughs> necessarily the best quality. I think it was like 15 euro, um, but it's just like a little vibe aspect. And I did like the crossbody strap how it's this multi turquoise royal blue and then a gold. And um, it's a crossbody with a little front pouch so you can put things in there as well. Again, the quality is not amazing, but if this is just like you're putting your room key in it, um, a few cards or something, then it's fine. Then at the La Sire News gift shop, which is located across the street from the hotel. Um, I think it's called like Imperio something. I don't recall the name. Um, I'll have it on the screen. I got this hat and it says La Sire News in the back. I really liked how this matches. It has the pink and then with this really pretty like light teal, uh, like an aqua blue. And it matches with the Hermes Aguirre sandals I have. Um, it says LXX on this side. I don't know what that stands for. Um, so I thought this was really cute. It's my favorite color at the moment. I think that was like 50 or I don't remember exactly. Um, and then from the same gift shop, uh, this little Palestano candle. Um, my mom and I did order one each, one for her, one for myself from this other store that I think is in like West Lake Village in California. Um, but it's less to buy it here, so I did buy another one here. And then it's supposed to basically be, the scent is like inspired by the smell of the hotel. Um, so it's that candle, I really like that scent. And then, um, 
what cell is this in? I don't recall the scent of this. Uh, I don't know, it's right here. Isola de Ligali, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the scent, um, this was just from a random Positano um, like souvenir store. And they have these really pretty diffusers. Um, obviously I'll have to purchase the diffuser stick separately. I thought this would be really cute for my mom. Um, oh, it has the set theme here as well. And then you can always refill it with whatever, you know, other diffuser scent. Then I went to, this is also from Capri, uh, Della Monica Profumeria Capri. And I actually was planning on going to a different store that was called Beauty Concept. I had researched prior to going what stores sold that brand Linge Saint Barth. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so I could purchase that since it's kind of Sorry, it's loud. Uh, it's kind of hard to buy that in the U.S. because they will charge you more for it to be shipped. Um, so I wanted to purchase that, which is this brand right here. Um, but I couldn't find the other store that I was looking for. And then I saw these that they um, this store had these in stock because they were outside on display on one of their windows. So I just opted to go in here instead. Um, and the ladies were really nice. There were two women that helped me. They also um, gave me some samples. So I got a bunch of the minis. Um, this is the only full-size product I got because I do have to bring everything home with me, you know? Um, so I just got a full-size of this one. This is the SPF 6 Tanning Oil. I just think that this brand and just this look is kind of a vibe, so I really like it. Um, and then I purchased a bunch of the little minis of the same product. So I purchased four of these minis and then um, I purchased, I think, two of these ones, maybe three. Um, three of the avocado oil. It's really um, nice, convenient travel size as well. Um, this you can basically just use for your skin or your hair. It's very nice for travel. So I got three of those. And then, let's see. Then I got one relaxing body oil to try. I haven't tried this product yet. Um, and then one coconut oil travel size. And then one of the aloe vera with um, gel with mint uh, travel size. So quite a bit um, from that brand. So I really like that brand. You can't buy it in the US. Then I got two things from Chanel. Um, one is the Hydra Beauty. It's all from the same store. Uh, cream, so I was trying out the sample, and I really liked it after trying out the sample, and this is less to buy in Europe. Um, and then one of the La Lift Creme de Nute, um, Smoothing and Firming Night Cream, which I've also been trying samples of, and I love this as well. And then from Chanel, the actual Chanel store, I got um, a mini flat bag in black with gold, or not gold, silver underwear, which I've been looking for for a while, and none of my essays have been able to obtain it for me. So I finally got it. Um, I wasn't going to unbox this on camera until I got home, but with packing things, I might have to anyways, so I figured I might as well film it while I'm here. So this was actually on hold for someone else. Um, I got this from the Capri store, the Chanel location in Capri. I literally just said that two different ways. Um, and I first went in there and I asked her if they had any mini flat bags, which was my favorite size-wise. And she said no, and then she showed me a small um, of this same bag, just the small classic size, not the mini. And then I was like, oh, this is too big for me. Um, and I asked her again, you sure you don't have any minis? And then she suddenly had this one, but it was on hold for somebody else. And then she sold it to me, which is how I seem to obtain most of my Chanel things. They're on hold for someone else, and they just like me, so they sell it to me. Um, I don't know what they go and tell their client they had on hold for, but... I liked how it still had the felt on it, um, and then all of the, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but it's basically like it's not a display bag, it wasn't, you know, touched and fingered up or anything, so I really liked that. Um, I might have to move that through this. Let's see. So it's just a mini, I'll like fully unbox it when I get home, just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek. So it's just the mini black flap with silver hardware. Okay, so we just went out again. I made it halfway, so then I went the rest of the way to this store called Carthusia. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, basically, a perfume store. And I've seen this um, brand on Bloomingdale's and stuff, but I wasn't sure how it smelled. Um, and then they had these in the Hotel 
room we're staying in right now, or the villa, um, in the scent Fiori di Capri. I really like this scent, so I wanted to purchase the diffuser and then one for my grandma. So they're wrapped like this, but it's the same thing as this one, just wrapped. I'm not going to fully unwrap it. So there's two of these, one for my grandma, one for me. And then I just thought these were cute little hand sanitizers that say the brand name on them and they're in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, scent. Just little hand sanitizers. And then uh, this is like a little pouch um, that I thought was cute to put like cosmetic scent or something for travel. They had another really pretty, I think like four colors, one was purple, one was aqua, and then this was one, and they had like a brown color that I wasn't really so interested in. It was between this one and the aqua one, and I like the pink one best, um, just for a pop of color. Also easier to see it in your bag if it's a bright color like that. And the inside's really nice as well. But everything's in the same scent, so it's the same Fiori di Capri scent, so this is just like the perfume. They also had a larger bottle, but this one was a little more travel friendly in the sense of getting it back home, and then for the uh, diffuser bottle, there are the, the diffuser sticks, which come in these things. This okay, so will be fun packing this in a suitcase, but I'm gonna have my grandma, who's watching me right now, be in charge of figuring out how this will be packed because I'm not the most organized packer. And then um, these candles also in the same scent. Um, I also liked how these were the pink ones. I found those ones the cutest. I liked how it was in the scent that we liked also. That same Fiori di Capri scent. Um, it's a mini candle and then a larger one. It's a really pretty like um, pink with the blue. And then um, the lady was really nice. She just gave these to me, complimentary. Um, it's the same exact scent, yeah. Fiori di Capri, they're little um, towelettes you can use for your uh, hands or body. Otherwise you have to buy them, but she gave these complimentary. And that is it from there. And then I also got some candies. Hang on. So I also got these little candies. These are for myself. I love the lollipops and stuff like that. So these are in lemon and orange. We'll see how they taste. Um, but I thought the lollipops themselves were really pretty. Um, it's like a little lemon orange sign. And then. These ones, my grandma got some of these as well. They're just really nice how they're individually wrapped um, in smaller packages. You've seen a lot of the larger packaged candies, but these ones are smaller, so they're easier you know, to give out as gifts or something. Um, so I'll probably give one of these to Laura and the other for another friend or something.